All right, guys, what is going on today? So in the last episode, we finally completed the bronze, getting the water curio, toxic air curio, resource generator one and resource generator two. And then we also started drawers, could not finish due to the fact of not having an uh, eye of ender or having any leather. So then next we're going into automation. We completed that. And now with this episode, we are going to be starting the basic thermal. So basic thermal will get us things like Const Constantan and Invar. So Constantan and then the pulverizer and the machine frame and pistons and Sterling boiler and steam dynamo. And it's going to get us all sorts of things. So the first things first that we need to make is we need two lead ingots, six of the redstone and one piece of glass. That will give us the fluix duct. Now, the Fluix Duct, I don't have everything I need to make it on me right now, but I do believe I should have... Hello. Hey, dead chicken. There we go. Uh, we should have some lead, yes. And redstone. Oh, I do believe I have more redstone somewhere, but where? I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure it's over in my strainer. There I go, calling it the right thing for the first time. And then we'll need glass as well. And now if I go ahead and pull out this lovely thing I have in my hand here, we can actually go ahead and make that Fluix Duct. That will complete the Fluix Duct quest. Then we will need the Crescent Hammer. It's a wrench. It rotates and dismantles many things. So what do I need to make that? I need four lead ingots. Now, lead ingots, I do not possess four of at least not on me i might have some in here i do not have four lead ingots in there but i have been processing down some dust so i'm gonna go ahead and pull that out since i have some of that in there that's okay actually i need to drop that into this chest because it's important that i don't lose it because that is what makes me me so now i have six of those I can actually go ahead and pick up that extra lead ore that I have. I'm going to place this lead down, break it up real quick. Grab my shovel, and we will go ahead and break all of that. That will give me seven pieces of lead, raw lead, which then can be smelted down by this and turned into lead ingots. Now, I only need two more in order to actually complete this. So I I haven't actually started the automation stuff. I have everything I need for the automation. I'm just, I just haven't actually done it yet, which I'm not really too interested in getting that. My main focus right now is getting all of this actually uh, completed and then going from there and seeing what I can do to uh, fully beat the game. Um, I am having a lot of fun playing this. And I'm having a lot of fun making videos out of it. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. So now I need six bronze, two uh, glass, and one fluix duct. Now I should have the two glass, six bronze, and one fluix duct pretty easily there. That gives me eight fluid. Fluid duct? Windowed. Windowed fluid duct. So that gives me a B buck. Which now I need to make a servo attachment. Which actually, I might have everything that I need. Minus the glass. Now I do need to get some more sand. That's not really that big of an issue, getting more sand. Getting more sand's not that hard. All I have to do is go out and dig. Unless I have some over here. Do I have any over here? Do I have any in you? I have a bunch of dust in there. So I'm going to go throw this dust in here so that it'll hopefully make me more lead. Because I do, in fact, need a lot more lead. But... While I wait for that to cook up, I have no armor on, so I am not going out into the wild blue yonder. And armor. Apparently my caps lock is on. So that is five for that. Five for that. Okay, so those do the same. I love how bedrock, the unbreakable thing, only gives you six and three for a helmet. Which that gives you two for a helmet. That only gives one. Yeah, but that great, greatly increases air supply. So I might keep that one on me for now. And then just, you know, try to... Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the diving suit back on fully. That way I have some armor when I go out here underneath the water to hopefully find some more sand somewhere real quick. Especially with the helmet giving me better boosted oxygen. That is going to be very 
needed and very important. And if you look over here, there is some sand I can grab real quick, click, quick to turn into glass. So I'm going to grab that sand. Nope. Yeah, you're mine. Come here. And now I'm just going to swim on back home. Look at that lovely building I've got going over there. It looks rather nice. I think I might slap a roof on top of that tall one just to make it look a little better because I don't plan on making that room any taller. And I do have those free roof keys that I've gotten. So let me go ahead and zoom on up into here real quick. And then I'm going to find that key because I think I'm going to do that. Where is the room topper key? There we go. Grab that, and then I'll grab my stone so that I can hop up here. I think it was this one. Yes, it was, in fact, this room. So I'm going to throw a topper on there just so it has a nice roof and bring some more water in here because I am terrible at planning things. Do I have any more? I should have more of that stone somewhere around here. Where is it? There it is. I'm going to swim up this water stream that I just created horribly and start placing this stuff down. Sounds like people are setting off fireworks outside, which is not making my dogs very happy. So I need to go deal with that and I'll be back in a minute. Hopefully all this water will be gone. All right, I think their finale just went off, but I do now have the servo completed. So that gave me another servo, which yeah, doesn't mean too much to me. Uses furnace fuels and water to create steam. Steam can be moved through fluid ducts. Fluid, fluid ducts. So I need to see how to make one of those because that'll give me an extra one. And then I go into the steam servo, which is whoa. Good thing I have more of the redstone being made back there. So I need to see what do I need to make those. So I need two furnaces. -es. So there's one furnace. -es. I don't have enough to make another furnace. -es. Do I? Are you serious? I had a dispenser in there already? Come on. Here I am making a new dispenser and I've already got a dispenser. That is wild, dude. So there is the Sterling Boiler. That completes that one, giving me another Sterling Boiler. And then we get a Steam Dynamo. Produces power with steam, only outputs power when producing power. So I need a bronze block, block of bronze. And then I also need a block of redstone. I have the iron. That is... Awesome. So I'm going to drop that in there. Don't let me get you guys. Don't let me forget where I put the stone and the light blue colored stone bricks. Don't don't let me forget where I put those. Okay. Oh, yeah. I had to kill a uh, sheep and a pig because they decided that they were going to escape and escape is not allowed in my underwater world, except for if you're a, a duck, because those are a little harder to get a hold of. So that is one block of redstone, so now we go here, hit this, do that number, and then we go over here, click this, click that, click this, and boom! Steam Dynamo! I now have a Steam Dynamo! Now I need to make a machine frame, so ooh, good thing I made another block, or I have enough to make another block of redstone. Because now we need to make a machine casing, which is simple, hopefully? Yes, I need to make more fluid ducts. So I'm going to make some more fluid ducts because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need those. So let's grab that extra machine frame that it gave me. A piston I don't have. Wait. I have the resources to make piston. 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 Got to piston. Now I, I, oh, I didn't know if I'd be able to complete that because I, do I need a piston for the pulverizer? I do need a piston for the pulverizer. And why didn't I put the pulverizer into my crafty thingy. Thank you. What am I missing? Block of flint and two copper blocks. Okay. Block of flint and two copper blocks. Now I do have the copper for the copper blocks. I just need to get 18 flint. There's one. 
There's none. There's none. And there's 15, so I have 16. Now I only need two more. Hmm. Let's see if I have any in here. No. Let's see if I have any. No. Let's see if I have any in here. Oh, wow, I do. Look at that. Woo. 11 more. So... No, I only needed one. There we go. That will be two blocks of flint. And then I have the redstone as well to make the block of redstone. Awesome. So we'll come over here real quick. We'll make these two blocks of flint. Then we'll make a block of redstone. Block of redstone go there. That go there. Flint, flint, copper, copper machine casing and piston wow i was right that's awesome i was right i'm surprised i was right okay so now the steam dynamo goes with the pulverizer to make iron dust nickel dust and copper dust which iron dust and nickel dust make invar in iron dust and copper dust make constantan so yeah let's just put it through the put it through the pulverizer and it'll make dust which oh so a normal raw iron, what's that? Is that just the energy? Oh, that's just the energy. Optional catalysts. So you don't have to have a catalyst. Okay. So let's see. It'll move steam through fluid ducts. So if I come over here and I open this up, so let me just... Oh, I got a chicken. I need to work on getting uh, the power set up. So I have my Sterling boiler here. Let's grab a room key. Why don't, why don't we? Let's grab two tall room keys. I didn't think that should affect that. Then what will happen if I put it there? Okay, so that'll just put that there. But I can always break out these blocks. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. I think I'm going to break out those blocks. I might make this one massive room. But for now, I'm going to at least just break out that. Oh, why didn't I didn't think about that as a possibility? Come on now, Beetle. There we go. Got that filled back in. And now I should be able to get this filled back in as well. Pretty easily, and problem solved. There we go. That fixes that problem. So if I want to do this, I have to get rid of that. But I don't want this room to be part of that room. I just want that room to be part of that room. So let me put this back up there. Fill this back in with the glass. Because <clears throat> that, that way I still have this blocked off from over there. Now, I want this to be separated. I don't want these two to be the same. I want this all to be separated from each other. So I'm going to work on clearing out this wall and this wall real quick, and I'll bring you guys back as soon as that is done. Alrighty, so those walls are now cleared out. This is a rather spacious room. Now, I would like to add another one right here. Uh which would, you know, override those two walls, which wouldn't be a bad thing, but I don't have another tall room key. Now I should be able to make another tall room key because I have a, do I have a nor normal room key, short room key, normal room key. So if I take the normal room key along with, I think I have them over here. I don't know where I put them. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. Nope, nope. Yep. And then if I'm not mistaken, I put that there, I do this, and then I say, hey, you go there, and then one, two, three, four. Tall room key. Okay, so now I can go ahead and complete that tall room. Make it one massive room. Which means I'll just have some more walls to delete, but that's not that big of a deal. I got two more walls to delete. Oh, big deal. Not really. So I will worry about that in a minute. I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, I do need a wall, uh, 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 door cancellation key, so a key block remover. 
That way I can get rid of this one here and say, boop, you're gone now. And just like that, the room is now complete. Now, I, granted, there is one piece of glass in the middle. That's just for light because it gets dark and it gets dark quick. So if we make this steam boiler, I need to put what? Water in here and then that in there. Now, what does this do? Steam dynamo. It has to have steam pumped into it. Okay, so if we take that, take that, because I need to be able to pump water into it. Now, if I were to place that there, and then I'll, I'll break this one and break that one, so that I can place the glass back in there, are you going to have water? No, because you need, not fluix duct, you need fluid, fluid duct. So I'm gonna break break this floor. I don't know why I chose the floor. Now are you actually intaking water? You're not intaking water. I need the wrench? Now, I don't have a way back in there, so I need to just close that off, swim on over here, hop back up this way. I can, I can get back in, just I'll have to make an entrance over there. But let's go ahead, I'm sorry for being a little quiet there for a second, um, I need to figure out how this thing works. I don't particularly know how this works. Oh. Well, I do know now that those break really easy if you use one of those. Okay. Cool. So that wrench makes that really simple to break. Now I just need to figure out how on earth do I get steam into that? Uses furnace fuels and water to create steam. Steam can be moved through fluid ducts. Which is, is that what I have right here? A fluid duct? Yeah, fluid duct. And then fluid, flu, flux duct. That's a flux duct. Huh. So steam dynamo. And then unimo. And then... Fluid ducts goes in there. So then that would get steam flowing in there, I think. Let me go see if I can find some coal, because I should have some charcoal or something over here. Yeah, there's charcoal. Let me grab my charcoal real quick, because I need to get that thing running so that I can run the pulverizer. This, I need to throw the charcoal in there. Now, I'm going to break this block. I'm going to run the Fluix duct down there, but that's not information. Generate steam, solid fuels. Most things that work in a furnace will work here. Will not waste buffered fuel when the output is full. Okay, so. Does it have to be... Is that's a fluid duct, a windowed fluid duct. But how do I get it to pump water in is the question. I don't, I don't understand how to get water pumped in. I'm going to have to do some research into this one, try to figure it out, and I'll be back in a second. I apparently gained two hearts because I've eaten stuff. So I have two more hearts now. That's awesome. And I think I may have figured out a way to work around this thing. I'm pretty sure if I take it, let me just pick it up real quick. 
I take it and I put it there and then I add water on either side of it. That should do something. So let me go find my bucket wherever I put it at. I'm sorry if you heard that I just hit my head on my uh mic again. I'm gotten really good at hitting my head on my mic. All right, I need to make some rearrangements of some things real quick. Hold on. So I need to make some more stairs. I'll make eight stairs. And I will throw you in there for now. I need to make an entrance in and out over here so that I have access to water easier. And I think I'm going to put it relatively close to the center of the room. So if we put one there, one there, one there, we'll need to put one right here, 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 and here. So, there we go. Now that'll allow me to be able to get in and out of this portion of the base as well. And get water from over there, so let me grab that. Now is that going to pull water in? I need you to pull water in. How do you pull water in? Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Did that just turn my bucket upside down? Okay, so I got that part. Okay, so if I bucket water into it. Oh no, I only have one more. I need more. I need more of those. How do I make more of those? How do I make more of those? Hold on. More. I need more. Is that really how I have to do it? Is bucket it all in? What? Okay, so if that's the case, then I'll grab this. And I'll make an infinite water source right next to it. That way I can just continuously bucket water into it. Okay, so it's got water in it. Now this is producing RF, but... Okay, so now if I take the pulverizer that I have, I should be able to just slap the pulverizer right in front of it, right? Yeah, that'll get me power. All right, so then that'll give me iron dust, which is good. Then I need nickel and copper dust as well. Oh, you are flashy and annoying, aren't you? There's the iron, there's the copper, and then I'll be able to get the nickel as well. Copper dust. Where's my... No, that's tin. That's lead. Where's my nickel? Do I not... I don't have any of the nickel on me. Are you serious? I'll be right back. I gotta get nickel, apparently. Ow. Cactus. Oh, yeah. There's all my nickel. All in stacks inside my chest. Alright, so nickel will be pulverized now, which will allow me to... Get nickel dust. So now we need to pump some more water into you. I wish I could figure out how to just straight pipe water into it. But I can't figure out how to do that. Do it. Do it. Hold on. What is the fluix duct? Moves power. It moves power. That's all it does is it moves power. Um... Sure. Let's make another chest, why don't we? So I can throw the extra of this stuff in here and I don't forget where it's at. Attachment servo. Now, that will complete that one as well, so then I need to combine two iron dust and one nickel dust, and then for this one I need to combine a copper and a nickel, so... 
If I take two iron and a nickel, that'll give me Envar, one nickel, one copper. That'll give me Constantan. Constantan. Which now I need to cook those down into their respective ores, which block of Constantan, Envar plate, and then gear working die, and then induction smelter, and multi servo press. So I need to cook those both down, but I need to get more of the iron dust. So I'm going to take half my stack of iron, throw it into there, and get it doing its thing. Now I'm going to come over here, open up my blast furnace, throw the constant tan dust in there, and then I will also throw the Envar dust in there. Granted, I can make two more constant tan, so... Constant tan. Yeah, constant tan. Constant tan. Constant tan is cooking up now, and then I'll be able to throw the Envar blend in there as well. That will cook up the Envar, so now I can grab the constant tan. Go ahead and sort that. That will complete that quest of that, giving me the bee buck. And then I need nine of them in total to make a block of constant tan. Now I currently have four. And there's my Envar. Got my Envar. Envar plates are made with the multi-servo press. Now the multi-servo press. I have to wait in order to get two blocks of constant tan. And a block of iron. Wow. You take a lot, dude. And if I'm not mistaken, the constant tan is made with, yeah, copper and nickel. So that is better than what it could have been. What does Envar armor look like? No, it doesn't. And constant tan as well does not have an armor variant. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out because I need to throw my... I don't have any copper. No. Nickel in there. And then I need to find more copper. I don't like this having to do this. I mean, it's working, kind of. All right, that's giving me that. Do I have any more copper over here from sieving anything or straining anything? I don't have any more copper. And copper only comes from the... Do I really not have any copper left over at all? Anywhere? I've got one little piece of copper there. Am I gonna... Uh, that takes forever to get that stuff. There's copper, there's copper. That gave me another copper. There's two more iron. There's two more copper. That also gave me more copper. Oh, sweet. So I'll go ahead and combine these up to make at least one more. Of that, which I can then go ahead and break and use my shovel on to break. Now, question for you. Constant tan blend, copper dust through a pulverizer. If I put it in... Okay, so I don't have to use just copper. I don't have to use just copper. I can use other things. Use gold to get copper. Okay, that's wild, but... I can use just... Can I use just the copper ore by itself, or do I have to have a catalyst? I believe I have to have... Oh, optional catalyst, so I don't have to have a catalyst. All right, so let me grab that. I should be able to throw that copper in there. Now I can make another one of these. More constant tan. There we go. That should also give me copper. If you don't give me copper, I will cry. I will literally cry in front of all the people who watch me. I will cry. Okay, good. You gave me a copper. That's six more constant hand to go on the four so that's 10 in total and then if i do another one here that will give me another two so that's eight more so that's 12 in total meaning i only need six more to make two full blocks of constant hand so now if i throw that in there that'll give me two full or that'll give me one full block of constant hand that's better than nothing only issue is now i need to go get more copper 
But in order to get copper, copper only comes from, for me right now, copper only comes from gravelly mulch. And gravelly mulch is a pain to get because I have to go get more of that stuff out there, cook it into mulch, and then it takes just hours upon hours to make. So I will see you guys in a couple of hours. All right, after a couple of hours, it is now super late at night and I have more raw copper ready to go into the pulverizer to make me some more constant tan. I really wish you could shift click into the 2x2 two two crafting grid. It's really obnoxious that you can't. You can shift click into every other one, but you can't shift click into the 2x2 two two crafting grid. Let's go ahead and throw this other constant tan up into here so it cooks up more. So that's 8, that's 12. Four more will give me... 16 and I need two more so I need a more nickel Yes, I need to grind up some more nickel If I'm not mistaken, this is a massive room I take that I'm gonna go ahead and crush up some more nickel because that is the one that I need currently and again back to the bucket steam rolling rolling until I can figure out a better way to do this are there fluid pipes in this hold on fluid pipe are you got to be kidding me okay what am I missing one bucket okay and you're going to take both of my buckets. But I need to know. I need to know. Does this work? You don't seem like you're pulling flew it in. No! Oh, man. I done messed that one up. Go away. Need you to go there. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Help me, world. Huh. Because that don't work there. I don't know why that not working. Transferring 50 millibuckets every tick, so that should transfer water into here, shouldn't it? I guess not. Alright, I guess I had fluid pipes for no reason now. Just wasted a couple irons for no reason. And my iron buckets, so now I need to make a new iron bucket. Man, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. I don't understand this thing. I'll figure it out. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Sure, that'll work for now. Let me grab my nickel dust out of here. Go ahead and combine it with my five copper, giving me ten constant tan dust. Uh, that'll be enough to make my two blocks of constant tan. Oh, yeah, because I currently have sixteen blocks of con- or sixteen blocks. Sixteen constant tan ingots. So, again, don't let me forget where I'm putting all of this stuff, because I need that nickel dust. Please, don't let me forget. Oh, I need to grab my um, machine frame out from over there. There we go. That's the constant hand that I needed. That problem is solved. Let's go in here, grab my machine frame. What? 
No, my machine frame's in here. There's my machine frame. Okay, so now we can go ahead and open this crafting table. Not pull up that. Pull up this one. Pull up that. Make one, not one, but two Constantan blocks. Basic thermal. Constantan gave me V-Bucks. And now I need to make an iron block as well. That is completed. Now do I have what I need? Nope. Need to make a redstone block. Multi-servo press. That is completed. This is a long one. Signalium is next after this, but... Alloy of copper, tin, and redstone made in the induction smelter. I need to make an induction smelter first. But before I do this, I need to pick up you. Thank you. And I need to grab... Whoa, where are you at? Are you in here? Yes. Because you transfer power. So, multi-servo press can go there. So you should be getting power into you now. Right? If that had power in it, it would be. But I can't figure out how to get this thing continuously pumping water into it. Okay, so now you have power in you. Cool. And you shouldn't drain your power until you're done with it. So next up, I need to go back to basic thermal. And I need to make an Envar plate. So that is one Envar ingot put in there. It'll get smashed down to an Envar plate, which will complete that quest. Completed. It gave me three more. So I need to make a gear working block of Envar and four Envar plates. So I have the four Envar plates. Now I just need to make a block of Envar. And if I'm not mistaken, the Envar was two of those and one of those. Yes. There we go. I can make a block of Envar. That was simple enough. Good thing I crushed down that iron earlier. I didn't even think about that as a possibility. Let me go in here real quick because I need to pick up these eggs. Run back out here. I have so many. Hey, that is not how we do things around here, mister. Come here. Oh. Not how we do things around here. Also need to grab my smelter out of here. I keep putting it back in there, and I don't know why. Open that up. I'll throw the chicken in there. I know I have another piece of raw chicken somewhere. I think is honestly over here. Yes. I can make... Ooh, I should be able to make chicken cutlets. Hold on. I don't have my flint knife on me. Flint knife. Flint knife. Flint knife. Because if I can make chicken cutlets, well, yeah, chicken cuts. I can cook the chi I should be able to cook the chicken cuts the same, right? Yes, I can cook the chicken cuts the same. Okay, cool. So chicken cuts, you go there. And then pork chop, you go there as well. Knife and offhand, I believe? No. Meat and offhand. Knife and good hand. And then that in offhand as well. Give me mutton chops, which will give me more different types of foods. So chicken cutlets. Sorry, I got distracted with food. That's a typical day for me. All right, so now I need to make a block of Envar. Put the block of Envar in. Get the Envar plate. Gear working die. Now what are you going to give me? A singular bee buck. Thanks, dude. You rock. Induction smelter takes two Envar gears, which, okay, okay, takes sand, another machine frame, and a blast furnace. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Grab my chicken cutlets. Should give me a pretty decent amount of food. Trying not to eat them all, because I would like to hopefully be able to get another couple hearts by eating different foods again. Because I like, I like that aspect. That is always happy, or always makes me happy. Do I have more Envar? I do have more Envar. Cool. Throw the mutton in there now. Bacon goes that way. 
Now I'm going to go press some Invar into gears, I believe. So gear working, die, and one, two. Right? Isn't that how that's supposed to work? I thought that's how that was supposed to work. Oh, it takes four Invar gears to make one Invar. Wow. It takes four of those to make one gear. Are you serious right now? No, that's my dog. Yeah, I have an all black, well, mostly black, Australian Shepherd Poodle mix? And her name is Sirius. I'm not the one who named her. That would be my wife. My wife's a little goofy. Like that sometimes. Alright, so now the pulverizer has power, you have power, and now I need to continue working on getting this induction smelter so we can complete this quest line and hopefully, hopefully start Signalium. Now this quest line took a hot minute to get done. Hopefully I can at least start Signalium in this one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Hopefully I can. All I know is I'm having a lot of fun with this. Machine frame, I need to make another one of those. So let me see, do I have what I need to make a... Of course I would get rid of the machine frame, I need that. I'm missing a block of redstone, which I can make. And then I'm also missing some of these, which I can make some more of those. Machine frame, there we go, problem solved. And then I need to make another redstone block. That is done. And then as well, I need to make a blast furnace, which I'm missing a copper and stone. I thought I had stone on me. Where is my stone is in here? You see, you guys were going to let me forget that I put my stone in there. You were going to let me just go and forget that my stone was over here. How could you? How could you do that? I trusted you guys to remind me. Where did I put my copper? Where did I put my copper? <laughs> I say because I know I didn't cook the copper and I know I didn't crush it all down. Oh, there it is. I need to cook up some of it because I need the copper ingots. Oh, these animals are annoying me. I need the copper ingots, yes. Because for this, I need to make one of those, but I also need my stone. I have my stone on me that is fantastic. Missing furnaces. Missing cobblestone to make furnaces. Come on, beetle! What are you doing? And I only have eight cobblestone. Are you serious right now? Are you for cereal? Do I not have any more cobble... Do I really not have any more cobblestone? Hey, you, machine over here that generates stuff. Can you generate cobblestone? <gasps> you can generate cobblestone for me. That is fantastic. Where's my axe? There's my axe. Okay, grab that. Thank you. I'm going to just throw it on the ground over here. Thank you. Now I need, where is it? Nope, now I need, where is it? There it is. Framed drawer. I don't care what it has in it. And I'm going to make you look the same as the other one. Thanks. Okay, you stop doing the disco dance. Thank you. You're going to start generating cobblestone for me, right? 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 Oh, yay. But while we wait for that to do its thing, I'm just going to go ahead and grab my pickaxe, come down here, find some stone, and say hello. Thanks. I got some stone now. Oh, I forgot I have the toxic air curio, so I can actually go see if there's anything. You Can you go up in, up the, the, seriously? Go to... Enter! Thank you! Boop! Boop! Alright, so now I have two furnaces. So I can actually go ahead and make a blast furnaces. 
And then what else am I missing for this? Sand. Sand. Sand, 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 sand. It's always something with this game. I'm always missing something. Go grab some sand real quick. At least when we come back, we can go through our little secret escape tunnel hatch thing. That'll get us... Ooh, dirt. That'll get us through there a lot quicker. Get us up into our area a lot quicker is what I mean. How many is that? Two? You know what? That's enough. That's enough. I want nothing to do with the creature that I just saw. I'm going to take that sand to be happy with it and go home. That is a massive room. Comparative to the rest of the base, that is a massive room. I love being able to just say, hey, you're my room now. Oh, you stay in my inventory and you become an induction smelter now. Induction smelter is done, which means basic thermal is completed. All right, so signalium to start that one, we need a signalium ingot, an alloy of copper, tin, and redstone made in an induction smelter. So in an induction smelter, four redstone, three copper, one tin. So four redstone, three copper, one tin. And it's going to need power pumped into it first. So let me grab my copper. Got the tin. I should have some more redstone over here as well. 15 more. Go ahead and process some more dust so I can get more redstone. That is the way to get redstone. So if we come in here, four redstone, one, two, three of that, and one tin will get me the signalium that I require for this. I'm sure I could probably look at, like, Ch Chosen Architect. I'm sure he's got something that has to do with thermal systems in one of his videos, and I'm, I'm almost positive it would be able to explain to me exactly what in the heck I am doing wrong. So we've got the Signalium. Fluid encapsulator allows fluids to be combi combi combined with items. Copper gear takes four, of course. And then this one also needs more Invar gears along with more blocks of Invar. So that is going to take a hot minute to get. Uh, but I will go ahead and throw both of those into my uh, little looky-loo over here. This one, um, I want to see what stuff am I missing for the fluid encapsulator. That a machine frame, which I'm just missing a block of redstone for the machine frame. And then I'm just missing glass and copper gears, which copper gears are... There, I'll have two copper gears here in a second, and then... Uh, the glass, I should have some glass over here. And then... That should be everything I need for the... Uh, fluid encapsulator. Right? Is that everything I need for the fluid encapsulator? It is! Alright, so I completed the fluid encapsulator. Got my B-buck. Allows fluids to be combined with items. Yes, I already knew that. I saw that part. Fluid encapsulator goes there, which I believe needs power as well. Yes. Which means I need these to go here. There we go. So now that will start gaining power eventually once I actually throw power into it. Now it'll need water input inputted as well. Whoa. That means fluid input? Yeah, that means fluid input. Okay. So that one I can actually input from underneath with probably the fluid pipes honestly where did i put those where did i where did i put my fluid pipes did i put them over here no where on earth did i put my fluid pipes fluid pipes no okay come on we are in the signalium quest line now and i can't find my fluid pipes there they are wow all right so fluid pipes i'm gonna see if i can actually pump fluid into these because that would be fantastic if I could I need sticks because I need to make a new pickaxe because I broke mine sticks pickaxe 
All right, I'm going to punch out that one, punch out that one. I'm not too worried about this because I can just say. Okay. Boom. Boom. Right? That is, that should be pumping fluid in. If I'm not mistaken. Because that, this should count as a, an infinite water source so if I find my water bucket that again I utilized I need to stop utilizing my buckets for things do I have more redstone in here? 8 more redstone of course, that's it, that's all I got and that bronze one is going to be dead here any minute sadly Let's make another bucket real quick. Bucket, 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 bucket. I got a bucket. Cool. So now I can go pump some water back into this thing. And hopefully when that starts getting power, it should start getting water as well. Are you getting water input? No, you're not getting water input. Redstone's disabled. Augmentation. I would assume that would mean water input is going in there, but I don't know. Hmm. All right, let's just go ahead and continue on with this magma crucible. Magma crucible, which means I need another one of those. I'm not going to be able to make that anytime soon. Why are you in my thing? What am I missing for you? What am I missing for the magma crucible? Envar, of course. Where's my Envar? That'll give me four Envar, or one Envar gear there. Which, what am I missing for the Envar? Is the iron dust. I have the nickel dust. I just need the iron dust. And that will only give me four iron dust to make more Envar. Now, I'm wondering if I have more Envar over here cooked up that I just missed? Or if I ran out of charcoal while trying to cook up some. No. Does not sadly look like I did have more Envar. Cool. I am sadly probably going to have to end this episode here shortly. Um, I've been having a lot of fun making all of these things and having you guys watch me do this and just you know learning about all this stuff and figuring all this stuff out so i'm gonna open this up because i do need one of those i also need some of this which i am missing a lead and a redstone so sadly all we got through was we did finish we did actually start and finish the uh basic thermal along with build up this massive room pretty quickly and easily. Now, I started the Signalium. I'm not going to be able to finish the Signalium in this one due to the time constraint of not having everything that I need. That really all that a coil needs is iron and iron. Of course you would. That's so simple. And I don't have a lava bucket. You, lava. I don't have lava. How do I get lava? That's the fluid encapsulator, but how in the heck do I get lava? Hold on, fluid encapsulator, come here. I don't... Can I bucket stuff into you or no? Does it have to be flown into you? I can bucket stuff into you. What the heck? Bucket of lava. Yeah. Fluid encapsulator. Yeah. Magma crucible. By cooking up the magma, or by cooking up stuff in the magma crucible, that will allow this to fill up with water, or lava. Oh, come on. Oh, I could have just put that in there. These all, that's not full, that's full, that's almost full, and that's full. So, 
We got my Enbar gears, but yeah, so we have completed quite a bit in this one today. Um, I think all I'm needing to make is a machine frame, but I am missing the Fluix and the iron as well. So I do need to sadly get more, because I didn't get very much, but I've been, well, utilizing all of my iron for other things, so I am going to have to get more iron. I don't think I have any in here. I think I have a possibility of making one thing of iron, potentially. And there's two iron ingots there, so that's that's a little better than nothing. Or not having any iron at all, but see here, I can go ahead and do that. And make one of those, which will give me, what, maybe two if I'm lucky? Yeah, it gave me two. So I can cook up those two iron because I need them cooked. I don't really... I mean, I need to make them into dust as well, but that's not going to help me anywhere or anytime soon. Because in order to do that, I also need the... Um, I also need to be able to make the machine frames and whatnot. So I am going to go ahead and call this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I've enjoyed making it. And I hope you guys, like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Because I did. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all take it easy.